So you have a website. You know you need SEO or search engine optimization. What you probably didn't know is that Google has a free tool that will show you exactly what you should be putting on your website, and you'll learn how to use it in this video. Hey, it's Spencer Smith. So if you've ever done any work on your website when it comes to SEO or search engine optimization, you know it's part art, part science. And with this tutorial today, I'm going to show you why we can easily demystify those things by providing you real data from Google to show you what it is that people are actually searching for. So the way that you get out to this tool is in Google, you just type in the phrase keyword planner. And you're going to see here, it's the first result that comes up. If you have a Google AdWords account and you're already logged in, if you click it, it'll take you right there. So you may not already have one and it's going to be a little process to walk through to get it, or you may already have a marketing agency or consulting company or something doing your Google AdWords on your behalf. Just sign in with those credentials. So either create your own or sign in with the ones that you already have. And this is what the Google Keyword Planner then looks like. It's going to say, hey, show us what it is that you're searching for out there. And I'll show you the way that I've done this exactly the past couple of days to be sure that I'm maximizing my search results when it comes to my target market. So I'd recently written an article about LinkedIn publicity and how you can get free LinkedIn publicity by publishing posts on LinkedIn as opposed to just doing updates. So I typed this in there. At first I thought, well, LinkedIn publicity, that, that'd be a good keyword. So I typed that in and I hit get ideas. Now the first thing that Google shows you with this is going to be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna ask you to ignore this right away and just go right here to keyword ideas. So keyword ideas is going to show you literally this search and the volume if anybody's actually searching for it. So you can see here that LinkedIn publicity the average monthly searches are so low that no one, pretty much for all intents and purposes, is actually searching for that. So although I would write that article and rank really highly for it, no one is searching for it. So I'll show you what I did initially with my post. This is how I had written it, LinkedIn for free publicity, how to publish posts. And what the data is telling me is that's just not a good title because people are not searching for free publicity when it comes to LinkedIn. So I searched for some other things and here's what I did. I put in LinkedIn posts to see if people actually search for that term. And what you're gonna see is that it's a relatively low competition term, but there's enough volume for me to pay attention. So I see that people are actually searching for LinkedIn posts. So I said, okay, instead of writing about LinkedIn publicity, I should write about LinkedIn posts and make it more of a tutorial with that free publicity aspect being the offshoot of it. So I wanted to maximize this article that I had written for another keyword as well. And I thought, well, if we're contrasting the two, the LinkedIn posts and the LinkedIn updates, I'll search for LinkedIn updates and see how many people are searching for that. So 720 for posts and 480 for updates. Now what's really cool about Google is if you start to scroll down here, you're gonna see that it gives you some more suggestions when it comes to keywords. It goes, well, if you're writing about these things, you probably want to consider these things as well because people that have searched for this, LinkedIn updates, have also searched for things like this. Now you're gonna find quite a few of them are completely irrelevant. So if you wanna clean up this report and print it out and actually make your decisions based on data, you can take this keyword result and say, make that a negative keyword. In other words, I don't wanna see anything about using LinkedIn to find a job. I'll just get rid of that, get rid of that. But then all of these things here, these are probably people that I wanna be targeting with my post. If you click on this column, it'll actually sort it by volume too. So you know if you're writing for these people that you're targeting, these people here are actually searching for what it is that you're producing. So what did I do as a result? I'll show you once again the before, how I had it titled this, LinkedIn for free publicity, how to publish posts. What I did to maximize it for those people that were actually searching for the things that Google is definitively telling me that they're searching for is this. So here, LinkedIn posts versus LinkedIn updates get free publicity. So this is the thing that Google is going to read first and say, okay, well, that's really what this article is about, is those things that people are actually searching for. And you notice that here, I be, I'm sure that I actually add those keywords throughout as well to tell Google and to tell a human being who's reading this article that this is something they can expect to learn from reading this article.
If you have any questions when it comes to Google Keyword Planner or SEO, please enter them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe so I can be sure to send all of these tips and tricks your way when they're ready. Thanks so much for watching.